My name is Sam Schold. I make cigar box guitars out of wooden cigar boxes. Uh, it's a tradition that's been around since the 1840s. Uh, they come in many styles, many colors, many shapes. Uh, most of them are made down in uh, Nicaragua or the Caribbean area. When you're building them, it's like a, it's like doing artwork, I guess, how that would feel compared to actually playing the thing. So, playing is a a lot of, I know it's a lot of guys out west that say, quit building those in your house and get out and play. You know, people want to hear them, they don't want to see it, see what you're building. You know, so, but it's it's artwork to me to build them, and uh, it's not like taking a paintbrush and doing that type of work. But it, every one of these turns out different, and they all sound the same or different. I mean, so none of them sound the same, and uh, you can just do so much with different types of wood. And, uh, like this one is coffee wood off of a coffee tree. It's a blank, but I cut it out so it'll fit inside this box and that goes all the way through the box. And it's uh, supported with two blocks inside to make it sturdy. And you have to notch it out so the lid will close completely. After that comes this piece, which is called the fretboard. And it actually has these metal frets in it that have to be sawn. Each one is sawn to a certain depth and the fret wire is then pounded in with a mallet and then you have to go by with several different files and uh, get these edges cut down so they don't tear your fingers up when you're playing. Uh, then you have these little fret position marks and those are actually uh, picks that are snapped out of a you take a regular hole punch and punch these little holes out with a single hole punch and it gives you these little tiny 10 millimeter little dots that actually go in the necks for your position markers. All the parts I get from a place in New Jersey, the metal parts and the strings. About the only thing around here that you get is the box and the wood to make the thing with, you know. This, like this, there's other parts here, like this is a bridge and it's made of a piece of uh, threaded rod to keep the strings in line so they don't bounce around, you know. It's got just the right temper there to hold them in place, otherwise they just slide back and forth if you had a regular piece of wood there or something. A lot of guys use uh, bone for this, it's called a nut, it's made out of bone and a lot of times you can use one of those down here too, but I like the threaded rod better, it kind of gives it more of a twangy sound, you know, so tell yourself it doesn't matter because you know you make another one, you know, but like I've lost a couple of them that I really liked and uh, in fact a girl from China came up to me when I was playing out in Galesburg there and oh I gotta have that guitar, you know, and I said well I guess you can have it, <laughs> it's my favorite one, but you can have it, you know, for so she bought it, you know, I could have charged her 300 bucks for it and she would have taken it because she wanted to take it home. She was going to home, home that day, so you're going to be international, she says. <laughs> she took her picture with me and everything and took it home with her. She was hugging it like this going down the road as she left, you know. So. <laughs>